All right, you know those movies that are just like friggin' time capsules from when they came out? Like, they embody everything from, like, the era that they came out in? This is that movie. This is pure... This is like a time capsule of the early 2000s street racer, you know, skateboarding, all that bullshit. Everything, like, it was just like, when I watched this movie, it was like a punch in the face of a big part of my childhood. Hey guys, welcome to my review of Fast and Furious, or The Fast and the Furious, because there's a sequel that's just called Fast and Furious, and that's, that's, I, I don't know, it, it's, it's confusing. So up on my Twitter page, I asked you guys if you guys would like to see me review the Fast and Furious movies to see me torture myself, and you guys voted yes, so here I am, I'm delivering it to you. So leading up to Fate of the Furious, we're going to be taking a look at all the Fast and the Furious movies. And be aware, spoilers do lie ahead. Let me just start off this review by saying I love cars. I love going around and seeing what other people do with their cars. You know, it's a great hobby and it's a great lifestyle. I really do love working on cars and I love all kinds of cars. But the cars I like are a lot of classic American muscle or just, you know, classic car brands. You know, I, like for, what, for instance, I own a 1959 Ford Galaxy and a 1968 Pontiac Catalina Ventura. Those are the kind of cars I'm into, you know, some more muscle stuff and other more like old cruiser stuff. The kind of cars that they have in this movie are not the kind of cars I'm into. Although they do look, you know, they look pretty cool, I guess, but they're not my thing. So the story for this movie is that Paul Walker plays, uh street racing kid who's trying to get in with the big boys, the big leagues, and that's Vin Diesel and his, you know, girlfriend, and he's also trying to get at Vin Diesel's sister, but it is revealed that he has an ulterior motive. A big shocking twist of the story is, he is a police informant. Apparently illegal street racing is this huge thing that the government, or the police officer, the FBI actually is trying to crack down on because there are a bunch of, you know, robberies going on with some trucks and they're sending Paul Walker in to try to infiltrate the crew and figure out who's doing it and turn all these people in. The story for this movie is so stupid and so just, it's just dumb. But then again, it kind of works for the movie. With that, we get street racing and all this other stuff and a lot of poorly edited sequences and poor acting. Like, really bad. No more running! I'm not running! As well as a lot of leftover 90 skateboarders slash street racer shit. So let's talk about Vin Diesel. I have never enjoyed watching Vin Diesel so much in a movie. This is so hilarious. He is so bad. They're long gone. Then it's over. I didn't call the police, but don't punch me! Put the gun down! I swear to God- You are the cop! You're a cop! But I just get the feeling that he is just having fun playing this role because he knows he's bad. It's just, it's hilarious to watch. Paul Walker looks so out of place in every scene he's in. He is so awkward. It looks like he's some guy that's hiding something. It. It's hilarious. Michelle Rodriguez is so stereotypical in this movie. It's, you know, I've seen her in other stuff. I've seen that she can be good, but she's, uh, she's just as fun as the rest of the people to watch. Jordana Brewster, whatever her name is, is just the typical, you know, just, she's the piece of ass that Paul Walker's trying to get at. That's, that's about it. She's pretty to look at. The editing for these car chases is also just terrible. It is just shaky cam, and the music is always blaring. It just feels really out of place. This movie is just so poorly put together. Now, you may be asking me, Danny, why are you have a grin on your face when you're, as you're ripping this movie apart saying it's terrible? You know why? Because I'd be lying if I said I didn't still enjoy this movie. It is so over the top. It is so stupid. It is so bad that it's just a blast to watch. Like, I enjoyed this movie so much when I saw it. I remember back in the early 2000s when I was a little kid and, you know, or even, you know, the mid-2000s, like, you know, mid-2010s, like, people, everybody wanted to be a street racer. Everybody wanted to be, like, Fast and Furious, you know. So all you heard about was all these people that were street racing with their souped-up cars and everything. Hell, when I first moved over here, my neighbors got in a street race and one of them hit a fire hydrant and died. Nah, I'm just kidding, he didn't die, but he just hit a fire hydrant and his car, like, you know, got ruined. 
Anyway, guys, this is the kind of movie that you would just get together with your friends and, you know, have a beer if you want to watch a movie just to make fun of and, you know, just have a good time. It's a fun movie. It's something like Commando or, you know, one of those kind of movies that's just so dumb but it's so enjoyable at the same time. That is this movie. I'm surprised how much I liked it. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of interested to see how they got from this to this. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. And be on the lookout. More Fast and Furious reviews are yet to come. No more running! I'm not running!